Hello everyone, I am here today to show you how to make sublimation tumblers. I created these two tumblers in about 15 minutes in my air fryer and uh, it was fun, it was easy, it was inexpensive. I didn't have to purchase any tumbler press, I didn't have to get any uh, special ink printer and I didn't have to buy a, an expensive alternative heat source. So it really was a fun project and easy to do. So I wanna show you how to do that. And please, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, like this video, it helps a lot and I really appreciate it. And uh, so let's get to it. All right, so we are here today to learn how to make sublimation 20 and 30 ounce tumblers. Well, I'm using a 20 ounce tumbler today. So I purchased my tumblers. You need to purchase them already with the white coating on it. I purchased them from Maker Flow. I really like Maker Flow tumblers. It's smooth. There is no seal here that can be broken. So I think that that's really important when choosing a tumbler. I have prepared two of these sublimation prints that I purchased off of Etsy. So I purchased these for $3 each and I'll put the link below where I got these. With my trimmer, my paper trimmer, I've trimmed up the edges and the top. And we're going to prepare the cups. So we, I've been touching these and there's oil on my fingers. So I'm going to just clean it off with uh, rubbing alcohol and my coffee filter paper and I'm gonna make sure they're cleaned off really good and I'm gonna try to make the touching of them minimal. I'm gonna do my dragon eye now and the thing that you have to be careful of is that you don't put it on upside down especially this has got scales the scales go down and make sure the print goes next to the tumbler which sounds funny and you would think duh but who would ever do that? But I am probably have adult dyslexia and I would very easily put it on upside down and and inside out. I would, <laughs> so I only say that because once again, as I say in most of my videos, I have experienced making a lot of mistakes. Okay, so I, I, I tapped it down so that the edge will be straight, okay? I am going to twist it here really tight. Make sure the edge is still lined up and I'm gonna put my first piece of tape. And I'm gonna pull, the, now the thing about heat resistant tape is it isn't very sticky, it's also sticky resistant. I'm gonna pull really tight, there we go. Okay, so I have my first piece of tape down, the edge is lined up perfectly, so I'm gonna to continue to just pull tight around my cup, I'm gonna get here, I'm gonna put on my next piece of tape and I'm gonna stick it to this side and pull as hard as I can to the other side. So we're getting a really nice tight seal. Okay, let me move my, I pre-cut my tapes and I have them aside here because I need a tape dispenser. I'm gonna again, turn it real, really tight and right there, I'm going to stick a piece of tape on this side pull really hard to the other side. Again, I'm gonna kind of twist it and turn it. And put another piece of tape right here. And pull it really tight there. Now up around the top, I wanna make sure that I don't have this flopping here or any flopping anywhere for that matter. So I'm gonna put this on really tight and stick it to that side and pull really tight. There we go. And then around the bottom as well, I'm gonna stick the tape on and give it a good pull. I'm gonna go all along the edge and just make sure that I have it on really good and tight all the way down. Because where your image isn't stuck to the cup tight enough, you won't have a really good ink transfer. So you might see spots that are not so vibrant with the color and especially this one. I mean, this is all, this whole image is all a bunch of dark blue. So if we have an area that um, is not, not really pressed to the cup really tightly, it won't transfer all the blue over. Okay, so my, my line 
is nice and tight, okay? There is no lifting anywhere on my cup. My whole paper is stuck very well. The image is stuck very well to the tumbler, but now we have to think about the top edge and the bottom. We have to also do both of them. So I'm gonna take a nice piece of long tape. I'm going to do half of it on the bottom of the cup and the other half I'm gonna press. I wanna make sure it's really tight to the image and then you're gonna to wanna to start to press it over the edge. You wanna press it really tightly. You are like pushing and pushing the image, the tape over so that you're making a really tight seal around the edge right here. There you have it. And I do it in two pieces. One more piece here. with my fingers. Remember, you wanna just double, triple press everything that you've put on your cup to make sure that it's sticking really good and holding that image onto the cup. So now we have the bottom, okay? Bottom to go. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put half of it on the cup half of the tape on the cup and I'm going to press really good and get that on the cup, making sure that that edge is folded over nicely and nice and tight. We're almost done. This is ready for the air fryer. I let my air fryer heat up to 380 degrees for about five minutes. Then I put my tumbler in and after two minutes, I opened it up and with my heat gloves, just regular old heat gloves that you would use for baking, I turned it about 180 degrees halfway. Then I closed it back up, set the timer for two more minutes. After two minutes, I opened it up, turned the cup again, and then closed it and did the last two minutes. So for a total of six minutes on 380 degrees. Something to note is that there was absolutely no odor in the air from sublimating this tumbler. Something I know you probably noticed as I was turning the cup is that the tape was peeling off. So what I would recommend with the heat resistant tape is going all the way around the cup in about three or four places down the cup seam. So after the cup was done, I let it cool so that I could touch it. And then I peeled off the image, which probably took longer to peel it off than it did to actually put it on and tape it. But when it was all done, it was so vibrant and so perfect. The gratification, the satisfaction of making a tumbler so quickly that had no micro bubbles on it and was just so pretty was just a really fun feeling. If you have some roughness on your cup, that means that you baked it too long. And if you have some areas that the ink is kind of muddled or the white is coming through, that means you didn't have the image tight enough on your cup. So next time, try making it tighter. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. It really does help. It moves me up in the analytics and I really appreciate it. God bless you guys. Have a great day and happy tumbler making.